You're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. Matthew, Colorado. I'm calling, I'm asking, uh, I have um, histrionic personality disorder, and one of the symptoms is that I'm easily influenced, and I'm wondering if you have any advice for how I can protect myself from joining a cult when I'm easily influenced and would be a high risk of joining one. Thank you. That's a really good question. The fact that you recognize that you're easily influenced is is an asset to you. Use that as an asset. The first thing I would say is put some deep research time into critical thinking skills. I, I mean, there are actual college courses that you can take on critical thinking, and I would suggest you research that stuff. Read about critical thinking and how it works and, and all of this stuff, uh, logical fallacies and things like that. Research that heavily. And since you recognize that you're more easily influenced than, say, the average person, try your hardest to be as skeptical as possible about every claim that's presented to you. Somebody comes to you talking about essential oils and how they do this thing for you and that thing for you. Look it up. Get on Google and look it up. Find out if those things really are true. A lot of the time you'll find people are kind of full of it. For example, they say um, 83% of statistics are made up on the spot, including that statistic. You know, people just make things up on the spot, and it doesn't matter. Most of the time, people aren't going to fact-check statistics and things like that. Fact-check it. That's the trick. That's the key. You need to fact-check this stuff when people say it. Uh, And it seems like it's especially important for somebody who is more susceptible to influence. Honestly, I'm pretty susceptible to influence, too, because I grew up Jehovah's Witness. I grew up being more willing to believe stuff that other people would see as patently ridiculous. So I have to be careful that I don't just fall for any old thing, too. So you're not alone in that.